Hey everyone, so in this amazing beginner tutorial, you will learn how you can create this kind of stamp. You see we have a bump on the top of the surface and we have some really cool smooth details and surfaces. So you will learn a lot about surface modeling. So let's have a look on that. And if you want to learn more about plasticity and surface modeling, I just launched my new plasticity 3D modeling course in which you will learn with fully narrated step-by-step -step instructions, how to model a motor style completely from scratch and not just that this course will teach you the mental and technical skills to tackle any project that you want as well as offering you numerous bonus lessons on effective learning strategies and providing you a full introduction into the fundamentals of surface modeling with hands-on exercises so if that's something you're interested in you can find out more information in the description box below this video and for now let's jump in into our tutorial all right so let's start and have some fun to model this shape here and first of all we will go to the top view we go here corner rectangle snap to the middle and drag that out but we want it from the middle so press just c here center corner and create here rectangle i don't care about the size here right click and now we have to give it here some rounding and yeah the easiest way would be just to select this edge with two and now press shift s to subdivide so we give here some extra points in the middle and now those four points are selected we press s for scale and just press s again to scale them uniformly from the middle and we will just give it here a nice little rounding right click perfect select in face mode this blue face and drag it up here so we have the shape and let's delete this curve and now let's select here our edges and and just give them a nice fillet with G2. Why not? Just looks a little bit smoother. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Right click. Perfect. So now how we can achieve this shape here. So we can't just create the shape here on the flat surface. We need a little bit of a rounding. But OK, I deleted that shape already. But what we need here on those sides, so let me draw it to you so you understand it. So we can't just create a curve which go like that because then we have here no continuity. So it will not be smooth or where those fillets are. So that just means we have to add here some continuity and here continuity so then we can just mirror it over and if you want to know what continuity is and in general the key basics from surface modeling i have a pdf sheet where everything is explained what curvature continuity and all that kind of interesting stuff is plus also you will get all of the shortcuts so it's the perfect cheat sheet for you if you're interested in surface modeling you, you can download it in the link in the description so we will have something like that and how can we achieve that very simple if we go here to the top or let's go again to the front and create a control point curve i have it on shift f again all of my personal shortcuts which are optimized also in the cheat sheet which you can download so shift f or control point curve and go here to this middle point and snap it and snap it and then snap once here so go straight so it's it will be tangent and then one point here and the next point which will snap here in the intersection it also has to be on the same height as this point so we have two straight points which will give us continuity and now yeah you can adjust them so you have to select both and now you can just select this one and just drag that just on the left and on the right you can drag it so on the x-axis so yeah something like that that's beautiful and now what we want to do is we want to revolve it so it will create a new surface out of this curve which we will then combine with our body here at the bottom and you will see we will get the effect which we want but let me also just drag this point but just let me adjust those points here a little bit so it's just a little bit smoother so something like that select this curve go here to revolve and just snap here to the middle and drag it up or drag it 
and just go here to uh, revolve and let's see if everything looks fine yes so revolve go to the stop point and just drag down and you see we have a new surface so let me delete this curve and also this edge and now you see we have a curvature but here at those corners you see we don't have a hard edge so everything is smooth but now we have to delete the the extra flat surface inside so uh, go to object mode select this and just hide it for a second and because we revolved it around so the edge was so the edge the curve was here so the radius right so what we can do is just we can create the center circle around the center and just bring it here to the intersection right click and now again a shortcut shift one or search for f imprint very important for surface modeling again pdf below this video so shift one select this body right click and now delete this curve and face mode delete this flat face here with shift x and now alt h to bring back our surface from before and now you see everything is exactly what we want and now what we have to do is object mode select this all press j and now we can start to create our shape and there are like literally one million different ways but again i just want to show you as many techniques as possible in a short amount of time so i will do it um a little bit maybe the complex way but you will learn more so and it's just more interesting so what we want to do is we want to create a center circle here and uh, drag here around or snap here to the x-axis so yeah i think something like that and we need another one we will see in a second because we will add here a little chamfer so shift d just to duplicate and ss just to make it a little bit smaller something like that should be fine perfect and now let's bring them both just to the top so it's not confusing and now again we want to imprint them onto our surface so go to the top your shift one or search for imprint and select our main body right click and let's delete here our curves and now we have this situation but you see here is we will give it in a second a straight chamfer and here we have the rounding but this surface we want flat so again there are i know there are different ways to do that but just to show you and to make it a little bit more interesting is we can delete this surface here because you see we have a little bit of a um, rounding but we don't want it so shift x and we have a hole now you might think oh, okay we can just patch this hole but no you will get exactly the same so what we can do is we can just for example take those edges here and we can bridge them so they will here create a new curve and we can do this if we select both of those edges and shift again for bridge edge guys i put it on shift b bridge edge for surface modeling most important comment i think so shift b and you see it is a little bit below our edge here so this is exactly what we want right click and now we can select this curve and those edges and patch so search for patch i have it on shift 3 because everything is optimized for my left hand shift 3 press ok delete this curve and you see this area here straight and then we have our rounding here so very simple three face mode select this face delete it as well and let's just join everything and yeah it's okay it's joined and now very simple we will just select those two edges in edge mode and press l loft and yeah you can give it here g1 but i don't want it g0 because i want a nice chamfer and press ok press 4 join everything and you see we have something interesting but we are not done yet because i'm showing you that because i know we will encounter an issue so first of all let's delete all of those extra edges we don't want them 
select object mode, select this whole thing, and again, shortcut F, delete rather than topology. So I've created this quick tutorial to show you literally every most important function of surface modeling and my shortcuts. So I have it on control D and control D and you see now everything is super, super clean. And now before we will mirror it over, let's try to give it some fillets. Edge mode and select this edge. And here in this example, you see if we give it a little bit. Okay, it's not working now. It was working before. So maybe it will work for you that you can give it here a fillet. If not, then no problem, because then we can take this edge and just drag it here into the negative. And you see this will work. Okay, but now you see we have some edges because it's a chamfer, it's not a fillet. But this is good because we just need the distance. So that means we can again face mode select this little extra chamfer, shift X deleted. And now we can loft those edges if this doesn't work. Just select both edges and again patch. So search for patch or I have it on shift three. And we should be able to give here G1 and G1 because then it will be smooth. Press OK. And you see we added, we cheated a little bit with the fillet. <laughs> so you see, that's why I love surface modeling and that's why I teach you that because surface modeling, you have so many different options and possibilities and oftentimes something doesn't work, but that's not a problem because then we can just solve it the other way around. So let's do the same here again. Try if you can give it the fillet. If not, give it the chamfer, right? That doesn't look right. Select it, shift X deleted. And select those edges and shift three, patch it. And let's give it here G1 and G1. And guys, it doesn't work again in this example. So it, okay, I will just, I will not cut it out because let's do some problem solving. So. Uh, somehow it doesn't work and I think I know why. If, so if we just go to edge mode and we press alt click and and we, because alt click you can select an edge loop but here we see it's also selecting here those edges but which we didn't want and why is that? It's because if we go back so control Z a few times before we chamfer our guy here, so we go to this position and let's do it again and, and see what we did wrong or what I did wrong and what we, what we learned from. And first of all, again, let's go to object mode, select everything, control D, delete written on topology just to make it clean. And now, if you remember, we just lofted it. If we, But here you see already, if we loft it, and we don't add those edges, those edges, it's, it doesn't know that we want to close this gap here as well. So that means go, give it here G0, G0 as we did. And now shift click those edges. You, you don't see any difference, but it will be a difference. So and G1, so it's continuous. So press OK. Again, press 4, join everything. And we have the same result, but now let's Oh, now you, oh, huh. now you see we can give a normal fillet, right click, and let's try here. Okay, here it's still not working, so let's give it a, aha, uh -huh. here you see we can give it a chamfer. Ah, that's beautiful. I just love it. It's so fun. Leave a like and subscribe if you find it also so much fun and, and informative. And again, select this face, shift X, and now we should be able to select both and shift three patch hole. And bam, voila, you see it works. So let's have a look. Guys, isn't that just beautiful? And oh, oh my God, it's already 17 minutes for such a simple thing. I could make a two minute tutorials, I think. But yeah, with all the problem solving, I think that's very helpful. So let's bring that everything over. We will create a line and snap here to the middle. And before you click, Press tap and tap and let's give it here a 45 degree angle. Right click and now radial array around the middle, give it four number, press OK. Join only those two edges, delete everything else 
And uh, yeah, before you do it, you have to cut with this curve our main body here and now delete everything except here this pizza slide. And now we will mirror or radial array this pizza piece here uh, 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 again. Number four, okay, press Q and Q to Boolean that. Press OK, Shift E, and voila, guys, we have something very, very interesting. And if you think that's something what you want to learn more about and how you can implement that in more complex objects, I just launched my new Plasticity All-in-One course where you will learn how to create a motorcycle step by step so here you can check it out, first link in the description, this motorcycle with all of the details and you will get a tons of more bonus courses, how you can improve your learning, how you can improve your surface modeling skills and much, much more. So feel free to check it out, first link in the description. It's, it's by far my masterpiece course. And in any way, I hope you enjoyed that and have a nice day. Bye.